What's going on guys, Random Comic here, and today I got some Homefront for you guys. So a few of you guys wanted me to post some Homefront. I haven't been able to play it, but I have like a lot of gameplay just sitting on my hard drive. So I looked through a whole bunch, this is actually gameplay I've been wanting to use a long time. It's a very, very quick 5 star battle commander on cul-de-sac, and it's so quick, I think it's like under 2 minutes or something like that. So I thought it's really entertaining, really quick, you got a lot of action going on, and I really do make mistakes and I did just I seriously just did a commentary to this and I listened to the audio back and my voice cuts in and out something I have to do with my commentary I don't know why my my computer sucks balls man sucks balls banana balls because every time I do a commentary sometime I'll finish one and the audio will glitch like my voice will be like yo what's up guys my name is random comic and it's like it skips out stuff like that and I really hate when it does that, so I have to redo it. Let's talk about something else. I really talked... I, some weird shit I talked about in the last one. I talked about The Secret and my success in games. I, if you guys don't know what The Secret is, it's the thought and philosophy in life that your thoughts are kind of like a magnet. And if you think positively, like, let me think if... If I'm always thinking I'm going to get a promotion, I believe I should get a promotion. I'll probably get that promotion. And if you think negative, like, if you think negative, like, oh, somebody's going to make fun of me, oh, they're going to look at me, oh, they're going to start laughing, they probably are, because that's what you're thinking. Your mind is a magnet, it attracts what you think. And I really talked about, you know, how in a first-person shooter, you could have more success if you thought of the secret which was kind of funny because the secret is a philosophy that you know you kind of have to believe in to be true but some people live by it. it's a philosophy that some people um, think is true and people have had success uh, using it but I was thinking having you guys I, th I was thinking it might be true in first person shooters because if I always think if I'm in a bad situation I'm like I'm gonna die I'm probably gonna die I'm on a really high kill streak. I'm gonna fucking die. And guess what happens? I usually get shot from behind, get stabbed, something happens, and I die. And I was thinking, is that because of the secret? Because I'm thinking that way? And I was thinking that maybe we should all start running around thinking like we're freaking Sandy Ravage and just go on a banana tear. And it was really weird commentary. It's really, really, uh, just off the wall kind of like I normally don't talk about weird shit like that but it just came into my mind and started saying it and it was actually a really weird commentary it was kind of funny but I thought I'd redo it just because the there's too many glitches in the audio so I thought I'd redo it and the whole reason why is because when I try to watch back gameplay in Sony Vegas uh, my computer can't for whatever reason can't watch the video and record at the same time doing a commentary because uh, Sony Vegas is actually a pretty powerful program. I should use a lesser program just because there's a lot of other better programs out there that you can record audio and not have to use a whole bunch of, you know, uh, eat up a whole bunch of like processor speed and uh, RAM on your computer. So I'm probably going to start using, I, I guess there's like others out there like Audacity and uh, Windows Movie Maker. I've used Windows Movie Maker a little bit, but I, I've never really had much fun using it. It's really boring program to use. I kind of like, I never really like to switch it up. Kind of like, um, only use me Blade. He's, uh, he's said <laughs> that he's so lazy he doesn't even want to learn a new program because he's been using a uh, movie maker for a while but I guess his, his videos come out fine all the time. I'm using a super expensive program and he's using a program that comes free with Windows so I guess he's the smarter one there. But in the video man, some crazy shit. I, I can't watch the gameplay now, so sorry I can't really prompt when certain stuff happens, but did you guys see that white phosphorus I dropped and I got like six or eight guys and I <laughs> went from a two star to a four star like instantly in a snap of a finger. It was really crazy. I got my five star really quick, but I make a mistake because I go into the enemy spawn and when you go into the enemy spawn, every time you die, you kind of have this parachute view of the whole battlefield. You can see where everybody is and when people spawn in, they're going to see where I am and they're most likely going to be attracted to that because I'm the closest one to them. They're not going to run all the way across the map to try to go into our spawn. They're going to obviously go for the one guy that's in theirs. 
And I make a mistake and I get killed in behind, so... What can you do? I got a little bit overexcited. Wanted to get the 5 star. Was successful. This is actually the first 5 star I got on Xbox. And it was actually one of the... This is probably the fastest one I've ever gotten. Which is, uh... Really cool. And I, I'm not really an achievement whore, but I got a nice achievement for it. I did it the right way. I didn't do it the way... People, like, fly around the parrot drone marking people. And, you know, using tanks and helicopters to get 5 stars. Those are kind of the cheap ways to do it. I like to do it with my gun. And using the white phosphorus effectively. That's actually my favorite kill streak. Just because you can... Like, if you're playing, you know, the... The domination, uh, domination type map. You can just, like, clear a whole map. Say you need to take that Bravo flag. Kill everybody off it. Take it. And move on from there. It's a great, great way. Some of the it, some people say the kill streaks are boring, but I think they're perfectly right. With big games like this, you can't have stupid little kill streaks that you know won't even be effective. I really think that airstrikes and the helicopters and vehicles they have are perfect for this game. And the battle rewards, I can't say enough how much I love the reward system in uh, Homefront, just because it's the one game that I feel like unless you're playing Battle Commander, people don't have to camp. The only reason I say that because in Battle Commander, if you want to achieve a next star, you have to stay alive, which promotes camping. But other than that, the battle reward system doesn't need people to camp in order to get, you know, rewards, which I think is the best reward system out there. Yeah, people still camp. Every first-person shooter online game, gonna have campers. I don't even complain about them anymore, just because, you know, they're gonna be there, kind of like. You, you know, everybody's had this situation where you want to go out. You're like, yeah, let's go out, man. And you're just, like, thinking in your head, like, yo, I'm probably going to see that guy from high school. I don't want to see him. He's going to be there. You go there, guess what? He's fucking there. They're always going to be there. It's going to be inevitable. <laughs> but, uh, pretty sure the video is about to wrap up. Thanks for watching, guys. We have a nice victory. I forgot what the final KD uh, was. 26 and 8, something like that. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the home front. And if you did, please remember to rate the video. I'd really, really appreciate that. Everything you guys do, man. Greatly appreciate it. I don't think people voice enough how much you guys help us out. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you guys in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.